is going on everybody now as you can see from the title above this is a destiny gameplay video it's hot off the press it has literally just been released about 10 minutes ago i'm yet to watch through it and i was just notified via email that it's come out and i thought it would be a good idea to give my genuine first impressions and reaction to the trailer drop a like a comment and hit the sub button if you enjoy this video because it really does help me out a lot destiny is a game that i've been looking forward to now for quite a while i covered it on some of my old videos and you can probably see in my youtube banner that i have some of the destiny characters really looking forward to getting my hands on it and uh let's not waste any more time and see what this trailer is saying inappropriate content children avert your eyes bungie of course the people behind halo the halo franchise The Fallen will continue to claw at the walls of our city unless we strike them down. It's like a celestial map, kind of. Beneath the ruins of a cosmodrome, in the shadow of an old colony ship, we've located the oh, House God. of Devil's Lair. Possibly a, uh, a map civility, from actually within the game. Strength. We must destroy this machine guard and send their souls screaming back to hell. So this is in old Russia. Cool, see some sort of like telekinetic powers there. I like to see Destiny as a mixture between an FPS uh, like Call of Duty uh, with RPG elements, say from Mass Effect, and then uh, yeah, just it's got a mixture of everything. It's pretty cool. So there's the first battle, not that much happened, lots of lasers, which is always good. Hang tight. I'm wondering if these colours on the weapons are actual weapon camos that you can customise yourself. Time will tell, time will tell. I would assume that these weapons are all things that you can customise yourself. Fallen and Hive. Let's hope we can avoid the crossfire. As you can see as well, these uh, enemies all have levels to them, so I would imagine maybe that there is some sort of level scaling when you enter an area. It scales the levels to the people in your party. Of course, it could be that just different areas have different level of creatures, but I'd hope to see some sort of scaling. The reason that is, is it means that you can play areas that you kind of uh, get too e they, they get too easy because they scale to your level and keep the challenge up. Nice little visuals there, space. In general, this game visually is very impressive. I think. I mean, the graphics aren't insane, but the the creative sort of uh, feels to it, I think, is awesome. And you see that when it went into third person there, that's part of the reason why I say it kind of feels like Mass Effect. Supercharged. I would assume we're going to see what that means soon. Oh, so this is on the PlayStation. We've just seen the square button. This is on the PlayStation. Nice lighting effects there, showing off. Great. The way out of here is sealed. Pretty complex. I'll need time. So, so far these enemies all seem quite easy, like look at that, that grenade just decimated all of them. <sighs> it's like the entire system is wired to it. I'll work faster. Invisible enemy. So it seems that when you use like a power, you go into third person, it'd be interesting to see how that affects the gameplay. Like say, for instance, if 
when you're in third person, it's easier to aim particular moves. It is very reminiscent of Halo. Shotgun absolutely destroying everything. The assault rifle. So far, a particularly uh, normal range of weapons. We've got like assault rifles. We saw sniper sort of thing at the start, I think. We have seen it in the trailers anyway, and then we've got shotguns and pistols. There we go. Now that was like an extended third person piece, so he could actually run around in third person. And he's down, but can be revived within 40 seconds. Supercharged again. Ooh, okay. That was like a big melee move. Rocket launcher there. Now that enemy creature there has like a unique name, Naxxus Devil Baron, so maybe we might see the sort of uh, Diablo take on things where some creatures can have Barrier is down. We can move special down. names and they're like unique creatures that drop better loot and they're more likely to drop better loot and they're harder enemies. Just a little bit further. up ahead, under that colony ship. Just on the other side of all those devils. Okay, so we're about wrapping up this trailer now. I thought we were actually going to be able to see those bosses, whatever was on, that just dropped down from that ship. Face Epic's Prime. Ah, so first time to play Destiny will be at E3 2014, that is now confirmed. Very nice, very nice. Didn't show too much beyond what we already know, but nonetheless, still impressive gameplay. So let's do a little wrap up quickly and then sign the video off. So as you can see in the video, we've got some new info, but overall there wasn't too much new to talk about. It was more just a general gameplay walkthrough of a level. We've seen more gunfights, we've seen more of the enemies, like the enemy AI, uh, different types of enemies, including that sort of semi-boss creature that had the unique name. The visuals continue to be impressive if looked at from a creative standpoint. I mean, personally, I love the graphics. Then we've also got to think, were these guys fighting in an instance, or is this a part of an open world map that you can kind of go inside, you know, you're traveling around an open world and you get to that area. Area. Maybe you guys know the answer to that question, but I don't. Anyway, there were a few other things within the trailer, but you know, go and check it out for yourself. Let me know what you think of this game. Like I said before, I'm very excited for it. I've been following it for a while, and I will be doing a playthrough with some of my friends. So yeah, just keep an eye out for more Destiny content from myself. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Make sure you go back and check my old videos, and uh, stay tuned for anything coming in the future.